Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Tweeps Map. If you've had a chance to watch our How to Build a Calendar That Fits My Needs video, you will know that Tweeps Map has the ability to schedule tweets with a few clicks, but it also provides power functions or hidden gems to advanced users. First, to recap the easy part, scheduling tweets when the most of your followers are active. This is the default setup, so you don't need to do much for this scenario. Our best times to tweet algorithm takes care of scheduling your tweets for when you have the most of your audience on Twitter. So practically, you don't need to worry about the best times to tweet charts. It's the default setup and done automatically as follows. First, make sure you have a schedule, for example, default, that is optimized according to the best times to tweet and use all in the time zone option. When sending a tweet, either use Add to Pipeline that uses your default schedule or Power Schedule. For a specific day, check the box that says Use Tweet Scheduler. But how about if you want to target a specific set of followers instead of all of your followers? For example, you want to make sure your followers in Australia see your tweets. This is not the default setup and it really is a hidden tweets map gem that many don't know about but we are about to uncover it. To do that, it requires a bit of configuration, but it only needs to be done once. Then it's a breeze to schedule your tweets. First, you need to define multiple schedules for the different time zones. In your Tweets Map Scheduler, click Create New. Under the Time Zone option, select Asia and Australia. Make sure you select Optimized for each day of the week. Click Save and repeat these steps for each geography that you want to target. Next, let's create pipelines for each schedule we just created. Create a new pipeline by clicking Create New and name it appropriately. For example, Australia. Set the number of tweets per day. And if you want your pipeline to repeat, check the repeat box. Set the schedule to the one we just created and click Save. Repeat these steps for each schedule created. Now your configuration is finished. The great thing is that you only need to do this once. And now that my setup is finished, let's schedule a tweet. Let's say for example that I have a tweet I want to push through the pipeline that's not time sensitive, just great repeatable content that I want to send out. To do that, I type in my tweet, then click Add to Pipeline, select the pipeline that I want to push the tweet to, for example, Australia, the pipeline we just created. Now, for time sensitive content, such as an announcement, for example, I will need to use the power schedule. To do that, I simply type in my tweet, then click Power Schedule. Select the specific date, select Use Tweet Scheduler, and select the appropriate schedule to have the time optimized for the followers I want to reach. Then click Add to Calendar. Voila, that is it. You have just seen how I can set up a scheduler for a specific geography and how to build a calendar accordingly. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Tweetsnap's hidden gems. Until next time.